Encouraging megadoses of vitamin C, appropriately high doses of vitamin C, I think is a very good idea. Dr. Frederick Robert Conner literally said, the doctor should give vitamin C while pondering the diagnosis. In other words, when in doubt, take C. Extra vitamin C does so many things that I think it would be one of the first things you'd want to do. Yes, it's antiviral. Uh, to some extent, it's antifungal, antibac uh, antibiotic, antibacterial. Vitamin C is an antihistamine, an antitoxin, an antiparotic, it lowers fever. But it also helps to improve the integrity of tissue in the body. Vitamin C is necessary to make collagen. Collagen is what holds all your cells together. Vitamin C is specifically needed for the hydroxylation of proline in order to make collagen. Collagen is the glue that holds your cells together. I think there's an advantage here for a cystic fibrosis patient. You mentioned digestive enzymes. Excellent. A good multiple digestive enzyme supplement is very smart with each meal. Vitamin E you mentioned. Make sure it's the natural form. That would be mixed natural tocopherols and hopefully with the tocotrinols. Now the mixed natural tocopherols, vitamin E, is more expensive than the synthetic, but it also works a lot better. So the natural vitamin E is important. When you add in all the tocotrinols, you have now increased the price of the supplement substantially. I would pay the money with vitamin E, it matters very much if you have the natural or synthetic form.